When you're invited to stunning wedding venues, you want to make sure that you both look and act the part. That's right, and that's why we're at the English Inn to learn the do's and don'ts of wedding etiquette. Let's head inside. We are a property that has a lot of rich history in the mid-Michigan area. Uh, this was built as a home mm -hmm. for the general manager of Oldsmobile back in 1927. And it has been through a myriad of different uses throughout its history. My family, we've owned it since 1996. And we really have grown it as a restaurant. We built this space that you're sitting in right now uh, as a ballroom, a grand space with Palladian windows, and it's called Meadow View Hall. Our um, views out these windows overlook the grounds, the gardens, the Grand River, and this beautiful pergola that is straight out of the Great Gatsby. That's awesome. Now, Eric, with a variety of different parties that you have had here, I'm sure you've seen some uh, good and bad etiquette throughout the years. Uh, but now that we have you here, why don't you give us a quick crash course on the do's and don'ts of being at a wedding? As you're a guest, um, remember a couple of things. Mm -hmm. Keep things straightforward and moving along for the staff by um, maybe knowing your drink order when you get to the front of the bar. Mm. Instead of having to sit there and think and you know ask questions right when you're up there and have your identification ready. Oh yes. That's right. You know, a lot of times you do forget about bringing your ID with you. Mm -hmm. I think I have my lipstick, I have my mascara, everything to touch up, but sometimes it's the last thing I'm thinking about is bringing my license mm -hmm. or any of my cards with me. When you're seated at your table, mm -hmm. Have your seat in. Okay, absolutely. Be I know, I need to adjust myself. <laughs> for all of that staff that's mingling around, perhaps a very busy room, mm. you don't want to trip anyone. When you're at the table, have a seat. That napkin can go right in your lap. Right in the lap, okay. Right lap. Oh, but it's so pretty. I always no. feel so bad unfolding it, <laughs> but I totally get it. So right in the lap, okay. And then people always ask, well, how do I know what fork to use? Mm -hmm. You know what the easiest rule of thumb for your silverware, but also for your glassware, work from the outside in. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Yeah. So starting so, with yeah, the fork. You get served your salad, mm -hmm. and there you have, right on the outside, your salad fork. The first knife that you're going to encounter, that's going to be your salad knife. Okay. So feel free to use those. You know, it's always fair when you're done, set your silverware diagonally on your plate, nice and together. People will know that you have finished that course mm -hmm. and they can come right along and clear. And then the one thing that you're commonly not necessarily going to use until the end mm -hmm. is the spoon. Right. That can be there for coffee or tea service or mm -hmm. uh, dessert. Mm -hmm. And then for your glasses, you know, if there's a toast, that's usually going to be your first glass. Champagne toast, then moving in, if there's wine service, you have your wine glass. And the water glasses, almost always, the one thing that stays on the table throughout the whole meal. So it's usually the innermost glass being the water glass. Okay, that makes yeah. more sense because this confused me for, I'll tell you, that did give me a little bit of a loop, but it makes sense. It's always going to be there and we need our water throughout uh, a nice reception where there's going to be lots of food and some dancing. That's right. Exactly. It's always working from the outside in. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, and you know, when we are at weddings, one a tradition that they always do is when they try to get the couple to kiss with glass. What, what do you suggest that we're not banging it, the knife too hard oh, on boy. the glass. What's a polite way to do that if the bride and groom want to do that? Well, I think that's really up to them. <laughs> and, you know, it always seems to be the DJ who right. can help to cue those things Good. or to quiet those things. Yeah. Well, this has been so much fun. Now, I, now I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm ready. I think I'm ready to as well. I know. Well. I've been, I've, you've been having a good posture too. I, I feel like this whole time. I hope I did as well. But if not, <laughs> Eric has given us plenty of tips. Mm -hmm. So thank you so, so much. And it's I my think pleasure. We are, uh, do you want to do a cheers? Cheers. cheers. <laughs>